Hello everyone and welcome to our spiritual communion for this Monday the 11th of May. We're now in the fifth week of our Easter season. We begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our gospel today is the gospel of John chapter 14 verses 21 to 26. Jesus said to his disciples, Anybody who receives my commandments and keeps them will be the one who loves me. And anybody who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I shall love him and show myself to him. Judas, this was not Judas Iscariot, said to him, Lord, what is all this about? Do you intend to show us your, to, yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we shall come to him and make our home with him. Those who do not love me do not keep my words, and my word is not my own. It is the word of the one who sent me. I have said these things to you while still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. In reading today's gospel, I'd like to reflect back over the gospels that we read towards the end of last week in the fourth week of our Easter season, because you should be able to identify a pattern that occurs in the last three gospel readings that we've read. If you remember back to last week, what happens is that Jesus gives a teaching, one of the disciples questions that teaching, and then Jesus teaches again. We saw that was the case with Thomas. We saw that was the case with Philip. And today in our gospel, we see the same pattern still there. Jesus gives a teaching. Today it's Judas, not Judas Iscariot, who asks the question and Jesus again teaches. You'll also see that there's been the reference over the last number of gospel readings to the fact that Jesus is leaving. He's going to be leaving the disciples and going back to the Father. And it talks about the unity of the Father and the Son. When we look at today's Gospel, we can ask ourselves the question, what does love mean? And what we'll find is that to love Jesus was to keep his commandments. Now, when we say keep the commandments, I'm not talking about being obedient to the commandments. I'm talking about lovingly in, imitate Jesus. The actions of Jesus reveal his love, reveals the nature of Jesus and the Father. Because the actions of Jesus encapsulated in those commands. Jesus heals. Jesus loves. He judges. He forgives. He commands. So we find that to love, and the meaning of love here, is to keep Jesus' commands, to imitate him in what he does. And knowing that he's going away, this is the first time we hear reference to the Holy Spirit. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. So again, like Jesus, we have the Father sending the Spirit. And the Spirit will be there to walk beside us We'll find that the Spirit 
will represent Jesus. The Spirit will carry on the work of Jesus, will act in the name of Jesus, will make Jesus present when Jesus is no longer there. And so that becomes the role of the Holy Spirit. For us, we might reflect that the Holy Spirit makes it possible for human beings in all our frailty to carry out the work of Jesus. We have that advocate, we have that spirit by our side, reminding us of who Jesus is and what his mission is. And so we might reflect for some time today and offer a prayer to the Holy Spirit, asking for the Spirit to continue to walk by our side and guide us at this time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks everyone for joining me for the Spiritual Communion today. It's great to be with you and to share these thoughts with you. Again, if we can be of any assistance, please let us know. In the meantime, look forward to this week. So stay safe and God bless. Mm -hmm.